Growing a tomato at home is actually very easy. But the first step to growing tomatoes is not sowing the seeds, but it is actually choosing the best kind of seeds. So you don't have to necessarily go and buy seeds. You can also use the heirloom tomatoes that you have in your grocery bag, in your refrigerator. You can cut a thin slice of it and plant it in soil. Sunlight. Tomatoes require direct sunlight for probably about five to eight hours. The more the sun it gets, the better the plant does. And you should not keep this plant in a shade, meaning there shouldn't be even a huge tree on top of the plant because sun is really important for it. Now, when we talk about temperature and humidity, they do very well in tropical-like climate. The, time, the temperature that we have in India and the subcontinent, somewhere between 25 to even up to 38 degrees. Average humidity is not something that you need to worry about. Even moist condition will be okay and lesser of moist condition, dry condition will also be okay. When you talk about the kind of soil this plant requires, it should be rich in fertilizer, it should be well draining and loamy. Take a planter about 6 to 10 inches, you would see I have two planters here roughly of the same size and the soil mix that you use should have compost, regular soil that you have access to and coco peat because it will help in making the soil more well draining. When you start this plant from seeds, you would see that the seeds will sprout out in 2 to 3 weeks. Now when you move them to a bigger pot, you have to add fertilizer, it's a heavy feeder meaning they need plenty of nutrition to bear the edible fruit on it. The next important part in its care is watering. Whenever you water your tomatoes, make sure that the water pours out through the drainage hole. So when you are adding water to your plant, it should start to come out from the base. This is really important because it ensures that even the deepest roots have received moisture and the frequency needs to be regular. You can't be like, today you watered and then you forgot for two, two, three days, else the fruit will, you would see that the fruits are not coming out perfectly. There will be cracking on the fruit and sometimes even rot. That is important point to remember, regular watering. Pruning. Now, it is not good for the tomato plant to bear many fruits. Its stems are not strong enough to hold the weight of many tomatoes at once. So what we do is that we maintain the main stem and we ensure that the fruiting happens here. So the side, what people call them suckers, we remove them using a knife or a scissor. The common problem that I have seen with tomatoes is of course yellowing and as I keep saying, yellowing is a sign that your plant is in stress. Remember, tomatoes are heavy feeders, require a lot of fertilizer, so you have to add fertilizer. The common insect problem that I face is leaf miners. In fact, this plant also has leaf miner problem. You see these vein-like things. Now, soap solution spray will do the job. I also tend to ignore many a times and the plant does fine, so I just let it be. But mealybugs is a serious problem. In that case, keep the plants away from each other and get, give a good water spray. It'll dislodge the insect from the plant. Secondly, keep the plant soil on the moist side. It'll help the plant to be less vulnerable to insects. Leaf spots is also very common. This is a fungal disease. When you keep the plant on the moist side, you would see that the vulnerability to diseases, most diseases, reduce. Pollination is another challenge that most of people face with tomatoes. Even if you manage like a perfect looking tomato, you would see flower comes, but the fruit does not happen. And this happens when there's lack of pollinators, bees, butterflies in your garden. How do you resolve that? I try to grow friendly plants. For example, basil. Basil is great companion plant for tomatoes. Bees will come to the basil flowers. Generally, growing a lot of flowers in a vegetable garden is a great idea to attract the pollinators. They'll do the pollination, transfer the male pollen to the female part, and you would see significant increase in tomato formation. I hope this video helps. Let me know down below in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching. In the same series on basic gardening, we have done several other videos which are plant specific. So we have tried to extensively talk about each plant, how to care for it, uh, what are the tips that you can follow. So do remember to check them out. I will see you very soon. Take care.